Welcome to PreciousMetalsInvesting.com. My name is Ted Sudol, and I have the pleasure of having as my guest today, Paul Machenovic. Paul is the author of High Level Investing for Dummies. Welcome, Paul. Good to be back on the program, Ted. And, you know, <clears throat> we talk about how this is an epic year or epic period, 2016, probably right into 2017, when a lot of, uh, how do I put this, paper crises out there, debt, bonds, and so much more are really starting to show cranks and falling apart. And uh, you're going to see a lot of stuff happening. I think that among the things that have been in the news lately has been the problem in Puerto Rico. Seems like over the last 10, 15 years or longer, that particular uh, government with, uh, again, uh, bureaucrats and politicians of all stripes have been, you know, overspending the uh, uh, the budget for Puerto Rico. Whatever monies they got into taxes was not enough to cover the differential. They overspent, and that le led the way to ballooning debt uh, to the point they've had billions and billions of dollars worth of debt. And very recently, I think as of the first Monday in May, they had officially missed a, uh, a payment, you know, the terms on this debt, which lays now the uh, the opening to a crisis that could have to do some uh, profound, uh, pr profoundly negative things happening to both the, the, the Puerto Rican community, all right, and not only that, to whatever investors were involved, uh, because uh, from what I gather, you know, some major Wall Street firms that helped issue many of these bonds over the years, those those Puerto Rican bonds have ended up in a lot of portfolios across uh, across the uh, financial landscape, ranging from either hedge funds and mutual funds to individuals. So it's time for them to review their portfolios and see what they have there, because anything tied directly or indirectly to this uh, Puerto Rican debt. And again, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, look, you know, it, it's not a problem you know, it, understanding what debt crises are all about. Uh, I mean, the first and foremost you got to spend less than you take in. Right. I mean, is, is this, you know, you don't need a PhD in finance right. to figure this out. You, you and know. once you overspend, then you have to start borrowing, then you still have your original expenses that are still, you know, you know, uh, on the plate for the next period, right. but now you have debt payments and it starts to balloon <clears throat> and it gets to the point where it's no longer sustainable. And this Puerto Rican crisis is just, I think, the first Bali you know, uh, the, the, or the first volley, or whatever you call it, you know, and for 2016, there's more to come. I hear that Greece is going to uh, may uh, have a crisis come July 1st for its venues. And this, I'm, I'm hearing that in the summer, some pensions are going to be missing you know, payouts or, or do reduce payouts, so there's more cracks in the system. Right, and yeah, I think I told you I read an article where it said that some uh, think group did an analysis of uh, 20 country governments and uh, they all have debts that they can never pay back. So right. this is only the uh, beginning. And one of the things that uh, I found interesting in the Puerto Rico uh, case is that a government official, uh, when he said this is disastrous, um, he didn't say to the uh, U.S. government uh, that we're going to cut down expenses, we're going to see how we can uh, help basically balance expenses and, uh, you know, income. No, they just said, send us the money. <laughs> send, send us the money. And, there you, go. you know, um, there's not a lot of places around that have extra money uh, right. that they can send around uh, to them without printing up money and causing more problems. The only the only place I know of that has a balanced budget, I think, is Antarctica. Am I, am I wrong? I'll have to Probably, look it up. Yes. I'm, I'm to look up those, Antarctica. Those, those maybe the Falkland Islands, maybe. Yes, you know? Those penguins are pretty good accountants. Oh, <laughs> exactly, exactly right. But we'll see what gives as this year unfolds. Yes. Well, thank you, Paul, for being with us today at PreciousMetalsInvesting.com. Uh, make sure you uh, listen to our podcast, the Precious Metals Investing podcast, now available for Android users on Google Play Music and also available on iTunes. Um, it's the Precious Metals Investing Podcast. By the way, for those of you who think that this has nothing to do with gold and silver, let me tell you something. What's going to go to zero faster? An ounce of gold or uh, you know, a chunk of uh, Puerto Rican debt right now or any kind of debt for that matter? I think you got the answer and now you know why you're listening. Thank you for being with us today at PreciousMetalsInvesting.com. See you next time.